Ever since Bitcoin was invented, over 10,000 coins and tokens have been launched on different blockchain structures. Although many improvements have been made since the first blockchain, they're still plagued by many issues today. One that's frequently brought up is the lack of interoperability between blockchains. Different blockchains are built differently, which understandably hinders interoperability and compatibility between networks. These blockchains can't share information and data among themselves unless they undergo a process that consumes time, energy, and other resources. With different blockchain concepts and ideas, there is a need to have a system that connects each of these blockchains together. Interoperability and compatibility between different networks will help us create ideas across all chains. Avalanche is a smart contract-capable blockchain platform focused on transaction speed, low costs, and eco-friendliness. Ultimately, what Avalanche hopes to deliver is a highly scalable blockchain that doesn't sacrifice decentralization or security. Avalanche is currently one of the fastest smart contract platforms that assist other smart contract-enabled applications to achieve low-cost, eco-friendliness, and rapid time to finality transactions. Avalanche aims to improve blockchain technology, particularly in terms of interoperability, scalability, and usability. What problem are they trying to solve? As mentioned earlier, Avalanche was built to address many of the issues most blockchain networks face. By providing an alternative to networks such as Ethereum, platforms like Avalanche work to combat centralization within the crypto space. Two of the top issues that Avalanche addresses are 1. Congestion. Avalanche was deliberately designed with scalability in mind. On par with top-tier payment processors like PayPal and Visa, Avalanche has sub-second transaction times. Avalanche is also tremendously powerful and efficient, having the capacity to process up to 6,500 transactions per second with sub-second finality. This is a vast improvement on Ethereum's limitations in terms of the number of transactions that can be processed per second. 2. Low Fees Considered by many as an Ethereum competitor, Avalanche also trumps Ethereum in terms of gas fees. Fees on Avalanche are more affordable than Ethereum by a wide margin. Fees on the network are used for various purposes such as for creating and minting assets, staking, transaction fees, and blockchain creation, after which these fees are burned, permanently reducing the number of AVAX within the platform. Used fees are burned because according to Avalanche, AVAX is a hard-capped, scarce asset used to pay fees and secure the network. So, how does Avalanche work? Avalanche's core innovation is its compost of three blockchains rather than the usual one. The reason behind this design choice is quite brilliant, each blockchain specializes in a task within the broader Avalanche ecosystem instead of having one chain do them all. Distributing tasks amongst different chains helps keep the Avalanche platform agile, allowing it to achieve the golden trinity of blockchain traits, decentralization, security, and scalability. Let's take a closer look at the three blockchains that make up the Avalanche main net. Exchange Chain or X-Chain the exchange chain is the blockchain responsible for creating and transacting Avalanche assets. This blockchain is used for managing assets and uses the Avalanche consensus protocol. Contract chain or C-chain. Smart contracts are Avalanche's key feature. This feature enables developers to build decentralized applications on Avalanche while leveraging the platform's security and scalability benefits. Furthermore, it also uses the Snowman consensus protocol. The C-Chain runs smart contracts for the Avalanche platform and is EVM or Ethereum virtual machine compatible. This means anyone can deploy Ethereum smart contracts on Avalanche. Platform Chain or P-Chain Avalanche's P-Chain allows anyone to create an 1 lira or 2 lira blockchain. You can even go as far as creating a group of them. In Avalanche terms, these blockchains are called subnets, with the P-Chain being the default subnet common to all. This blockchain is used to coordinate validators. If you are yet to like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Guys, Thank you. let us look into some advantages of Avalanche. The main benefits of Avalanche can be found primarily in the way it was built. The founders found a way to address the common problems of blockchains through the network's unique structure. Some of which are 1. Interoperability. Avalanche facilitates interoperability by allowing different blockchains to share data and effectively interoperate with one another. 2. Scalability. Mining Bitcoin, for example, requires tremendous energy and computing power. Ethereum can only process 15 transactions per second. 
While powerful and highly valuable, these blockchains are difficult to scale because of such limitations. Avalanche, on the other hand, was built to be scalable and boasts sub-second transaction times and incredible processing capacity. 3. Usability. One of the concerns in adopting any technology is usability or the extent to which the software or technology is easy to use and implement in various applications and use cases. Avalanche has proven useful in various cases and is picking up speed in the crypto community at a pace that can rival Ethereum. Quant Network was founded in 2015 by Gilbert Verdian when he discovered how useful distributed ledger technologies, also known as DLT, could be in solving the problems he was personally facing. So what is Quant? Quant through its overledger network has created an application programming interface API that facilitates the connectivity of numerous network types while allowing for secure, interoperable application development, opening a path for enterprise systems to integrate Web3 functionality into their operations. To put it in their words, they are connecting all the world's distributed ledgers for faster, more efficient growth. As a result, the Quant protocol is often referred to as an operating system software that connects all blockchains. Now let's discuss further on how this works. The, the Quant, Quant protocol was designed to remove barriers commonly encountered on communication, interoperability, and scaling blockchains. To achieve this, layers are matched to tasks for which they're best suited. Let us take a look at some of these layers. Transaction layer. On this layer, storage of transactions is paramount. Both buried and isolated ledgers are used to place related operations in one layer and verify them across the blockchain. Once a transaction has been validated, it cannot be invalidated under any circumstance. Everything needed for consensus across blockchains occurs on this layer. Messaging layer. This layer deals with information and data transfer. There are three types of data that can be processed. Smart contract data, metadata and transaction data. Metadata interprets messages and translates them into different languages for different blockchains to understand. Filtering and ordering layer. While this layer also handles messages. But, unlike the messaging layer, it involves filtering searches into specific results. Every message on the digital ledger system is placed on a first-come, first-served basis and is kept neatly in a database. When validation of an off-chain message is required, the filtering and ordering layer is responsible for validation since it's the only layer with the history of messages transferred throughout the protocol, which means developers can set specific tasks. For instance, allowing an application to transfer tokens to a particular network once they're deposited on the dApp. Now let's break this even further by looking at Quant's key features. As an Ethereum-based platform, Quant leverages the security and interoperability of the Ethereum ecosystem. Unlike the Bitcoin blockchain, which focuses on providing people a way to transfer value, Ethereum has a wider range of use cases. The first feature is the overledger network. The function of the Quant overledger network is to secure the transfer of information and data on Quant. It uses another protocol the overledger DLT to fulfill this task. When a user is connected to the protocol, data can be exchanged with any two blockchains within the system. The second is Overledger DLT Gateway. The Overledger DLT also known as Distributed Ledger Technology Gateway is specifically made for a large clients. Its main role is to assist the system with interoperability between its distributed ledger system and networks. Data, non-fungible tokens, smart contracts, fungible tokens, and even IDs can be transferred smoothly using the DLT. One defining attribute of Quant's Overledger DLT gateway is that a smart contract can be written in any programming language, from Hyperledger Fabric to Ethereum. The third feature is Quant MDAPs. MDAPs are another unique feature found on the Quant protocol. Decentralized applications, also known as dApps are blockchain-based, and MDAPs allow different dApps to work on as many blockchains as possible. With MDAPs, developers enjoy the advantage of each blockchain without having to necessarily deal with its restrictions. For instance, a developer can enjoy the consensus from one chain and acquire data from another. Let's look into the advantages of using Quant. 1. Since it's built from scratch, Quant doesn't experience most restrictions that come with distributed ledger technology. It can be installed seamlessly without prior knowledge of cryptography or programming. 2. Quant users can connect to any type of digital ledger system, irrespective of their position. Developers, individuals, and even public workers can use the network without prior programming knowledge. 
This combination of flexibility and ease gives the platform great appeal. 3. Quant can be bought with fiat and directly exchanged back to fiat. 4. Quant can neither be forked nor lose communication with its multiple ledgers, so the chances of a security breach on the network are extremely low. 5. Unlike most other distributed ledger systems, no data is stored on the gateway on the quant network. A standards-aligned API is used by the network for an extra layer of security. We can keep going about what the quant network is trying to achieve, but we have to wrap this up. Using the quant network, you can connect to blockchains like Ethereum, Ripple, and Bitcoin. And aside from these, Quant is also working on a SaaS product and a Quant app store that will add more resources to the Quant ecosystem. Let us know. Quant's native token, also known as QNT, has three prominent use cases. The first is the payment currency for using network resources like APIs, data, and connections between various enterprise blockchains and legacy systems. Gateway operators also use this QNT crypto asset to pay yearly licensing fees to make use of and participate in the Overledger network. Finally, Quant tokens are paid by Quant's treasury system to gateway operators who function as directors of transactional traffic within the wider Overledger network. The token has a market cap of about $1.3 billion and a maximum supply of 14.6 billion QNT. With a total supply of 14.6 billion QNT, Avalanche Currently token also called AVAX. The Avalanche token, or AVAX, is a utility token that serves as the ecosystem's common medium of exchange. Besides its use as currency in the Avalanche world, AVAX staking secures the network and rewards stakers with more AVAX. Compounding the value derived from staking is the AVAX deflationary token mechanism. AVAX tokens used to pay transaction fees are burned from the supply, permanently lowering the amount of AVAX in circulation. Let's recap the usage of the AVAX token. Staking rewards, all subnets, including the primary network, require validators who own and stake AVAX tokens as collateral. That isn't to say you have to be a validator to get rewarded for staking AVAX. If you want AVAX staking rewards, you can delegate your stake to a validator to earn a percentage of the staking rewards. Furthermore, roughly 64% of AVAX tokens are staked. Validators are earning just shy of 11% APY and delegators are earning 9.53% staking rewards. Transaction fees. All transaction fees are paid using AVAX, and it's also the common currency between subnets. Creating tokens and subnets. Avalanche's two central use cases are creating custom tokens and blockchain networks, called subnets. Developers can leverage the platform to deploy NFTs, DeFi protocols, and games, amongst many of other options. The VAX has a maximum supply of 720 million. A total supply of about 377 million. Circulating supply of about 246 million. A market cap of about Let's 20. wrap this up. Over 967,000 AVAX has been burned so far, that's about $79.5 million in valuation. And they will keep burning fees, which tells you that the potential is still huge for Avalanche tokens, and the project is built on a solid foundation, because they are solving important problems. Although we don't know the impact Ethereum 2.0 will have on AVAX. But time will tell. Let us know what you think about AVAX in the comment section. Also, share what you would like us to discuss on this channel. Kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel, don't forget to turn on your notification to get notified each time we post on this channel. See you next time.